Knives out. I've been working on my Tom York impression. How's it coming along? People of the world, friends and relatives, my name is Stuart. I'm here to introduce you to the song Knives Out, not the movie by Ray, Ray, Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. I don't, guys, I don't know how you say his name. Star Wars Return of the Last One. Shut up. This is a song by Radiohead from their hit album, Amnesiac. Probably my th third favorite Radiohead album. Standard tuning. We're gonna we're gonna start off by learning the main lead Johnny Greenwood guitar part for the verses, but then we're gonna learn mostly Tom York's awesome acoustic guitar part. Let us begin. Please place your middle finger on the eighth fret of the top string. Please place your ring finger on the eighth fret of the third string from the bottom and put your pinky on the eighth fret of the second string from the bottom. Play the top string. Then on the third string from the bottom, pluck down up. Then on the second string from the bottom, pluck down up. And then on the third string from the bottom, pluck down. So that was top, down, up, down, up, down. One, two, Play with me and boom, Bicky, Bicky, Bick. One more time, Bicky guys. Boom, boom, go back up, boom. Great. What we're going for here is even though we're playing individual notes, we want kind of a loosey goosey, strummy vibe. So it's pretty important that you pluck down, down, up, down, up, down. If you try to go down, 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 actually, that's not too bad. Guys, never mind. You can pluck this song however you want. That sounds dirty. Don't you speak to your mother with that mouth? It's not the right phrase. I'm gonna mostly go down, down, up, down, up, down for this first part, but apparently you can play it however you'd like. So we went boom, picky, picky, bow. Then what you're gonna do is put your pointer finger on. S it's gonna fall. It's gonna. F oh, it fell. My amplifier was sitting on some books and then the whole thing toppled over. Pointer finger, sixth fret, top string. Middle finger, seventh fret, third string from the bottom. You could use ring finger, but I would use middle finger. Put your pinky on eight of the second string from the bottom. But actually, let me uh, correct something. You don't put your pinky on eight of the second string from the bottom. You leave your pinky on eight from the previous chord. Look, look, there's the first one. Second one, don't move your pinky, guys. All right, on this chord, you're gonna do the exact same picking. Down, down, up, down, up, down. Fantastic work. Now, we're gonna switch to this chord right here. Pointer finger, fourth fret, top string. Ring finger, fifth fret, third string from the top. Pinky, fifth fret, third string from the bottom. And middle finger, fourth fret, second string from the bottom. People of the world, friends and relatives, would you please do the exact same picking on this chord? Boom, picky, backy, bow. Okay, now let me take just a moment now. Just, we've done three chords. That means we've done three elevenths of the introduction. So I would like to take this opportunity to ask you if you like having a good time. Do you like having a good time? Now, do you like pictures of me? If you answered yes to either of these questions, Go check out my Instagram. It's so much fun. So just go to Instagram.com. How do I direct you to it? I think there's a link in the description. I'm pretty sure. It's either Marin Music or Marin Music Center or Stuart or Stuart Lehman Brown or Stuart Alexander Lehman Brown. I don't remember. See you there. Guys, let's play those first three chords. Ready? We're going to start from the 888. Eight, eight. Then we're going to go to 678. And then we're gonna go to four, five, five, four. I don't, that was a worthless review. One, two, here we go. And down, picky, picky, bomb, boom, picky, picky, bomb, boom, picky, picky, bomb. Guys, let's do it a little slower. That was too fast, right? One, two, here we go. And bing, picky, picky, bomb. What? Let's keep moving. Keep the same chord. The chord you just did, keep your hand there. You're gonna go like this now. You're gonna play top string, then go to the third string from the top and play Bicky, then third string from the bottom and play Bicky, and then go back to the third string from the top and just play Bick, 
and then pluck up on the second string from the bottom. So that was like boom, bicky, bicky, boom, bow. To play that with me, boom, bicky, bicky, boom, bow. You're doing great. Then immediately with no pause whatsoever, you're gonna go back to the top string with the same exact chord. Immediately after playing the top string, like immediately, play the third string from the top, then play third string from the bottom, then go back to third string from the top. So that was, I'm plucking down, down, up, down, then play second string from the bottom, then third string from the bottom, then third string from the top. I'm going down, down, up, down, up, up, down. One, two, just play that last part. Boom, boom, ba, boom, bicky, bong. One more time, karate chop, sing along. Boom, boom, da, do, da, da. Well, I messed up a little bit, it's fine. Okay, we're halfway-ish through the intro. After this one, you're gonna go to this guy right here. We've got three on the top string with your middle finger, three on the third string from the bottom with your ring finger, three on the second string from the bottom with your pinky. Notice this is the same shape we did up here earlier. I'm gonna talk about what these chords are called in the next part of the video. It makes sense, trust me. Guys, you're gonna do the regular picking pattern, the boom, bicky, bicky, bong picking pattern on this chord. Then put your pointer finger on one of the top string, middle finger or ring finger, it's up to you, I don't care, on two of the third string from the bottom and go boom, bicky, ah, boom, bicky, bicky, bong. So that was boom, bicky, bicky, bong, boom. And then we're wrapping up the introduction now, but it's the most rhythmically confusing part of the song. You're gonna get an E minor chord ready to go. So that's top string open, middle finger, second fret, second string from the top, ring finger, second fret, third string from the top. Your pinky isn't doing anything yet, but it will very soon. You're gonna play top string open, then you're gonna play down up on the third string from the bottom. Then play the bottom string open, then with your pinky, play three on the second string from the bottom. So that was boom, bicky, bing, bang. One, two, here we go. Boom, bicky, bing, bang. One more time, this is tough. Boom, bicky, bing, bang, fantastic. Then your pinky is just gonna slide into the second fret of the second string from the bottom. Play that note. And then you're gonna hang out for quite a while, for like two beats, and then play the third string from the bottom open, and then play third string from the top, which has your ring finger on it. So that whole part goes like this. Boom, bicky, bing, bang, bong, bing, bong. One, two, super slowly, boom. One more time, we gotta do it. We will grow together through it. Boom, bing, bing, bang, bong, bing, bang. Bing, bang, bong. Um, so here's the thing. We're gonna do basically that same thing again, but that's not true at all. It's quite a bit different. You're gonna have the same, keep that same E minor chord, play the top string open, then play third string from the top, I can't show you. Okay, look. Play, play top string open, then third string from the top, then third string from the bottom. So that was just boom, boom, duh. Then play the bottom string open. Then with your pinky, play three on the second string from the bottom. Then move your pinky over to play two on the second string from the bottom. And then you're not gonna wait two beats. You're gonna go straight to the third string from the top, then play third string from the bottom, and then back to third string from the top. So that was like this. Boom, ba, 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 three, two, two, open, two. Lots of off beats, guys. That's like, so you're tapping your foot like this. Bung, bunka, bunka, bum. And we get to this part and there's all these off beats. It goes boom, bunka, benka, ka, 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 ka. Where it's all these notes that are not on the beat when you would tap your foot, but in between your foot tapping. 
All right, and that's the whole intro. Now here's something weird about the intro that's just gonna make it feel weird when you're playing it. It's 11 bars long. Usually, like, usually sections of songs are like eight bars, four bars, maybe 12 bars. But this one is 11 bars long. 11 bars, a bar if you're not familiar. Why am I getting into all this? A bar and a measure are the same thing. And in nine times out of 10, it just means it's four beats. You go like one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. That was three bars right there. Trace, trace. Trace is Spanish for three. I'm surprised you didn't know that. Um, let's go ahead and play this whole intro all the way through. One, two, not too fast. And oh, picky, picky, bone and switch. Picky, picky, bone and switch. Picky, picky, bone and switch. Picky, picky, big bone. Picky, backy, pinky, bone. Boom. Picky, bone messed up. Picky, pinky, bone and boom. want you to know my Tom York impression is definitely getting better what we're gonna do now is we're gonna switch to the, the acoustic guitar to play the chords that Tom York plays now I have to tell you something though you can play this part the part we just played you can play that on acoustic if you want it's gonna sound great and guess what the chords we're gonna play on the acoustic guitar you can play that on electric as well and it's gonna sound great you can do it, look, ooh, I have a great idea. I'm gonna do this. To demonstrate that you can use either guitar, I'm gonna hold them both up like this, and then I'm gonna use this for the thumbnail so everyone knows that you can do either. But, okay, let's see, the title is gonna go over there. If I'm, and then should I smile or should I look, should I cry? If I cry, it'll get more clicks. Hang on, I got, give me just a second to see if I can cry. <sighs> Up. But see, I told you you could play it on this. That sounds good, right? I should have taught that part on acoustic. Time for the chords. Uh, the chords for the verse go like this, guys. I'm gonna, okay. I'm going to show you the basic thing and then I'm gonna show you some extra credit stuff. So Tom York throws in some extra credit, but not all the time. So first thing I need you to do is put your middle finger on the eighth fret of the top string. Put your ring finger on the eighth fret of the third string from the bottom. Put your pinky on the eighth fret of the second string from the bottom. Here's the rub. All of the strings that we're not pushing on, we want them to be muted. So you can have your pointer finger just touch and mute them, or the way I do it is my middle finger just kind of leans down and mutes the strings that I don't want. So it's like this. Eight, muted, muted, eight, eight, muted. Strum this chord. Sounds like that. This is a C minor. I have to tell you something. This is not how Tom York plays it. Tom York plays it with his thumb playing eight on the top string, pointer finger playing eight on the bottom few, and then these going up like this. It's still a C minor chord. Here's the thing though. I don't think this really sounds substantially better and it is so much more uncomfortable for most people. I like using my thumb but I do not like playing this chord. So I'm showing you the non-bar chord, non-thumb way that I swear, honest to goodness, works great. And Tom York plays this chord a lot in other songs, so I don't know what his deal is with this one. On this chord, you're gonna strum down, 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 up, down, up. One, two, here we go. And down, 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 up, down, up. On that second strum, we want that one a little bit accented. So on the first strum, I'm kind of just aiming for the top string, and then I play all the strings on the next strum, and then down, up, down, up. One, two, here we go, and boom, back. Uh, two, three, okay, great. We're gonna switch to the next chord. Next one, pointer finger, six on the top string. Put your ring finger on eight of the third string from the top. Put your middle finger on seven of the third string from the bottom, pinky on eight of the second string from the bottom. Much like in the previous chord, we want the strings that we're not pushing on to be muted. So that means your pointer finger should lean down and mute the second string from the top, and it also should lean down and mute the bottom string. Notice it's not a bar chord. It's like 
it's not the opposite of a bar chord, but I'm not trying to push on the bottom strings. I'm just touching them, which is quite a bit easier. If you're like, I don't understand, I cannot get my pointer finger to mute those bottom strings, that's because you're probably using the tip of your pointer finger. Don't use the tip. Use the pad of your finger like that, you guys. This is a B flat six chord. So we have C minor going to B flat six. On the B flat six, we're gonna do the exact same strumming. Let's practice going from the C minor to the B flat six. One, two, here we go, and boom. You're doing great. All right, now we're gonna switch to an A flat major seven. Oh, I should mention when he does this one, he uses his thumb for this one too. He's a, he's a crazy person. I don't know why he, like this one's not nearly as bad, but guys. If you want extra credit, I guess you can use your thumb, but I don't care. Okay, then we're gonna go to an A flat major seven chord. Pointer finger, fourth fret, top string, mute second string from the top put your ring finger on the fifth fret of the third string from the top pinky on the fifth fret of the third string from the bottom and middle finger on the fourth fret of the second string from the bottom the bottom string should also be muted by your pointer finger it's a beautiful chord on this chord we're going to do the regular strumming pattern twice so we're going to go guys let's play those first three chords one two here we go. You realize, have you noticed that I'm, I've got this clever thing going on where when I switch chords, since for the first strum of each chord, we're just aiming for the top string, I get that first note ready and then get my other fingers in place as I'm getting ready for the second strum. So it's like, look. Great technique. I challenge you to try it yourself. Okay, we just did the strumming pattern twice on this A flat major seven chord. Stay on the A flat major seven chord and strum down, up, down, up. Then we're gonna switch back to the B flat six chord just for a moment and go down, up, down, up. This B flat six chord that we're doing here is extra credit. If you want, you can just do the regular strumming pattern on the A flat major seven chord three times. Or if you wanna be fancy, do it two times and then go bunga, 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 bunga. I recommend you just try to do that. The reason I say that's extra credit is because I don't think Tom York does that every time. I think he does it a lot of the time. Okay, uh, right after the B flat six chord, we're gonna to go to a G minor chord, middle finger, third fret, top string. Next string is muted, next string is muted. Then put your ring finger on the third fret of the third string from the bottom. Put your pinky on the third fret of the second string from the bottom. And we're gonna go back to the regular strumming, the boom, bow, pinky, backy. Then we're gonna go to an F6 chord. Keep your pinky in the same spot. Lift up your other fingers. Pointer finger, first fret, top string. Your pointer finger is also gonna lean down and mute the second string from the top. Ring finger plays third fret, third string from the top. Middle finger plays second fret, third string from the bottom. Don't mute the bottom string. We want the second string from the top muted, but the bottom string should be open, which actually means this isn't an F6 chord. I guess you would call this an F major 13? Maybe an F major seven add six but i don't think so no you wouldn't call it that don't be crazy you're being ridiculous and on this one you're gonna go down 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 up down up all right we're almost done with the verse chords let's play everything we have in the verse up until that point you can even practice that trick where you play the top string as you're getting the other strings ready one two here we go and boom picky back job for this F major 713. If you want, you can use your thumb to play one on the top string. 
I do that sometimes. I kind of like it. I don't know. I know. I don't know why I'm okay with the thumb here, but not on the other. I don't know. Guys, each person is its own enigma wrapped in a mystery. To finish up the verse, you're going to go to the E minor chord. That's where top string is open, then middle finger, second fret, ring finger, second fret. But you also want to take your pinky and put it on two of the second string from the bottom, which changes it into an E minor six chord. Here's what we're going to do on the E minor six. We're going to hang out here for a while, mostly. So you're going to start off just by going down, 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 up, down, up. But then get rid of your pinky. So now it's just a plain old regular E minor chord and strum up, 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 down, up. So it goes like this. It goes down, 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 up, down, up, 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 down, up. One, two, good luck. Down, 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 up, down, up, no pinky. And then you do that exact same thing a second time in a row. Let's go ahead and practice playing that twice in a row. One, two, three, and four, and boom. Down, down up, down, up. I want to change the way I'm doing this whole thing. I'm in a weird mood today. They poked a hole in my neck. Let's play the whole verse all the way through. One, two, three, four. the whole thing again. I won't make you do it right now. So, so far we've got the intro. All that stuff. Then we've got the verse, which are those chords we just did. We do those twice in a row, exactly the same both times. And then we're gonna do the chorus and then that's gonna wrap it up, guys. Chorus goes like this. You start off with a regular plain old A minor chord. Pointer finger, first fret, second string from the bottom. Ring finger, second fret, third string from the bottom. Middle finger, second fret, third string from the top. I am going to require you to have your thumb come up over the top and mute the top string. People of the world, friends and relatives, same strumming. Down, 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 up, down, up. I should mention, this is a good time to mention about the strumming. We have this basic pattern, right? This down, 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 up, down, up. We, we try to keep that going the whole time. Tom York doesn't keep it going the whole time. He changes it sometimes. He'll just like add in an extra strum, leave out a strum. I think there's a relatively moderate amount of improvisation when they play this song. Johnny Greenwood's just doing his whole own thing. And then the other guy, the other guitarist, whose name is, I want to say Brian Kinney, but that's a character from Queer as Folk. Um, I don't remember his name. I sometimes know it. I just don't at the moment. He released a solo album like a couple years ago. It was pretty good, pretty good. So what I'm trying to say is, if you don't do the strumming exactly the same every single chord, that's that's great, that's fine. It's probably, honestly, better than doing it exactly the same every time. All right, so we've got down, 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 up, down, up on the A minor. Then you have two, I'm gonna, the regular option is you just switch to an A7 chord. Here's how you switch to an A7. You get rid of your pointer finger and you move your ring finger down to the second fret of the second string from the bottom. This is an A7. Sounds great. If you play that, you're good to go. If you would like extra credit, we can play an A7 over G. So you're gonna put middle finger on the second fret of the second string from the bottom, pointer finger, second fret, third string from the top, and then your ring finger plays three on the top string, and then we'd also like to mute the second string from the top with your ring finger. You see why this is extra credit? It's kind of an annoying chord. So it's like one, two, goes like this. A minor, down, up, down, up, A7 over G. It's annoying to play. I think, honestly, guys, I'm not gonna do the extra credit. I already have an A in the class, so I don't even need to worry about the extra credit. So I'm just gonna do the A7 chord. We're gonna do the strumming pattern twice on the A7. So it's A minor, then A7, A7. Then we're gonna go to D minor, pointer finger, first fret, bottom string, ring finger, third fret, second string from the bottom, middle finger, second fret, third string from the bottom. 
I do not care for this chord. I do not like the D minor chord. And then your middle finger comes up and mutes the tops. No, that's called your thumb. Since when is, I've never mixed up my thumb and my fingers before. Thumb comes up over the top and mutes the top string. D minor chord, down, 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 up, down, up. And we switch to a D7. D7, you get to keep your middle finger in the same spot, second fret, third string from the bottom. Put your pointer finger on the first fret of the second string from the bottom and your ring finger on the second fret of the bottom string. Keep the top string muted with your thumb. Get a load of this guy. Um, oh wait, no, I've, oh shoot, darn it. I was supposed to say middle finger as a joke. And then I, and we do the strumming pattern twice. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. Extra credit guys. We're actually supposed to play a B7 over C. We're actually supposed to play a D7 over C, which means your pinky plays third fret on the second string from the top. How gnarly is that? But that's what they play, so what do you want me to do? Um, I'm gonna try to do the extra credit on this one, because I, on the A7, I actually like don't, think it makes a sound substantially different on the D7 I think the pinky helps but again it's not mandatory okay let's uh we're about halfway through the uh the chorus so let's go ahead and play what we have so far for that first half starting with the A minor one two here we go A minor A7 do it again the D minor Seven with the pinky, I forgot, but then I added it. Then we're gonna go to G minor. Do you guys remember G minor? We did it earlier. Some of you might know the bar chord G minor. We don't have to do that. We're gonna do this one. We're gonna do middle finger, third fret, top string, ring finger, third fret, third string from the bottom, pinky, third fret, second string from the bottom. We're gonna do the strumming pattern four times on this chord. You know what it is. You know the strong. I'm not gonna. <sighs> Shields up, red alert. After you play the G minor four times through the strumming pattern, we're gonna go to the E minor six again. That was where, uh, you know, the E minor six was the last chord we did in the verse. And we're gonna do the exact same thing that we did in the verse, where it's down, 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 up, down, up, open, open, up, down, up again, down, down. Up, down, up, open, open, up, down, up. And that's how you finish the chorus. And then it just goes back to the verse. You play the verse two more times. Then we go back to the chorus. You do it exactly the same again. Then you go to the bridge. The bridge is just the exact same chords as the as the verse. And then we go back to the regular uh, the third verse, exactly the same as the other verses. Then we go to the chorus again, and you play the chorus exactly the same, and you just end on this E minor six chord. Let's play the chorus. Now, okay, here's what we'll do. We'll play the, uh, let's go ahead and play the intro once all the way through, then we'll play the verse once all the way through, then we'll play the chorus all the way through once. So we're not gonna repeat anything. We're just doing all three sections, one right after the other. Do you think I can do this? One, two, karate chop, bing bong. Bing.
I forgot about one other thing. On the A flat major seven, sometimes I think he does this. I don't know though. It's like I swear there's a live version you can hear him do that, but I don't really I don't like it sounds good. I'm in a bad mood now. It's not your guys' fault. I mean it's kinda of your fault, because if you weren't here I wouldn't have done this and then I wouldn't be in a bad mood from it. it. Might be might be you're ready for something dark? No, I'm not gonna say the dark thing. It was gonna get very dark. I take it back. Take it back. There's no darkness in the world, only light and sunshine. It's just not true. So much darkness. <laughs> What's really upsetting is that you can see, I always put this guitar here so it covers up that hideous outlet there. I have an outlet where the panel fell off and it just looks horrible. Looks like the Borg got a hold of my office, am I right? Do you guys know about the Borg? I'm gonna cut this whole part out of the video. <laughs>